Hello everybody, I'm Roger Wakefield. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the summer heat affects your plumbing system. We all know that the winter affects it, but did you know that the summer heat can affect your system too? And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. There's just some things that you need to know, things that you need to keep your eyes open for to make sure you don't have any problems. If you get good information here, you like this channel, you get value, you get to have your opinion heard, you get to hear ours, and you just love your customers and love everything you can learn to do for them, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Now we know the temperatures can affect your plumbing system. Think about it. In the winters here in Texas, just two years ago, we had such major freezes that plumbers could not keep up. Well, to be honest with you, the heat can affect your system just about the same way. Not nearly as bad, but there are things about the heat that can lead to big problems. We can go through periods in Texas where we're really dry, really hot, or really wet and really hot. And what this does, it causes thermal expansion and contraction. The mountains are icy, but they've got motion of molecules. Ha! Now we're gonna talk more about that in a minute, but also you've got your air conditioning systems running. And if it's humid, they're running like crazy and putting out a lot of water. We actually had a problem at my house a couple of years ago. Let's start talking about the air conditioning systems. They run so much, they're up in the attic or they're in a closet, so they're out of sight, out of mind. Well, here's what we ran into. The P-trap or the trap arm down on the lavatory where the condensation drain drained at, well, it got clogged. And believe it or not, a family member actually saw it and said, wow, you know what, it stopped up, it'll go down. They didn't know what caused it. Well, as soon as I got there, I took apart the P-trap, drained it out, cleaned out the arm, and got it unstopped. You're great success! But during the summers, if you're in an area that is highly humid, this can be a problem. If an upstairs lavatory clogs up and overflows, who's gonna see it? And especially if there's no one there. So the problem that we ran into is remembering to keep that clean all the time. So now I do that. But what about your condensation line at the AC system? Now your evaporator up in the attic or in the closet, when it creates condensation, it's got a primary drain that it goes to. I remember walking into my house one day a couple of years ago and I walked in, it was hot outside, I just got home from work and I look up at one of my windows and it looks like it's raining. And I thought, wow, that is funny because I just walked inside and it wasn't raining outside. I go back to the front door, look out to see if it started and it didn't. Then I remember, oh my gosh, that's where my overflow is. So I went and looked at it and of course I looked up through the window, the overflow sticking down through the soffit is pouring. So I go up and look, sure enough, my line is clogged up. Now this is the line coming out of the air conditioner. So it literally is clogged right there. Again, as a plumber, I'm able to take that apart and fix it. But that's something you need to keep an eye out. Where does your condensate drain and what does that drain look like? Is it open? Is it clear? Do you have any problems? Some drain into bathtubs, some drain into showers, some actually drain into the lavatories. And then again, some have a hub drain they drain into. You just need to know and make sure you keep an eye on it. Now, remember too, at this time of year, trees are getting hungry. If you're not feeding them, they're looking for water and they could penetrate your plumbing system. So that's something you wanna make sure of. Are you watering your plants? Are you watering your trees? You get a big tree root looking for water, it can mess up your sewer system, it can mess up your water system, it can mess up your entire plumbing system. Now we talked earlier about thermal expansion. I've got a spot where I get thermal expansion a lot. See, even cold things have heat. Things like snow and icy mountain lakes and glaciers, they've got heat. Anything with molecules has heat. It's just that the molecules in cold things are moving more slowly than the molecules in warm things. Are you with me? When somebody turns on the water in the kitchen, if I'm in my bathroom, I can hear it clicking on the wall. What that is, that's that thermal pipe expanding up against the wood, concrete, whatever it is. But I always hear it. Now imagine you've got a pipe coming up through a slab and you've got thermal expansion and say it's really dry, you haven't been watering your foundation, and your house shifts a little bit. Now, foundation problems are what lead to sewer leaks and sometimes water leaks under a slab. But during the summer, if you're not watering your foundation and you're allowing it to shift more than normal, you're allowing it to expand more than normal, you need to think about that. Now, one other thing that some people have to worry about, and actually I do, 
I installed a whole house water filtration system. A water filter cleans out the impurities that are in water that we really don't need in it whenever we go to drink it or take a shower in it. So today, I'm gonna to tell you about water filtration systems and what all it takes to install them. I came up out of the ground in front of my house, turned into the wall with three lines. The reason being, I needed a water supply, I needed a water return, but I also needed a drain line to come out. That way when the system backwashes, it's got somewhere to go. So I insulated these lines really, really well, not just because I'm worried about them freezing and breaking or anything like that, but UV rays. A lot of pipes have issues and are not supposed to be exposed to the sun for a long time. So if you have a water line or drain line, anything like that, that's out where it's exposed to the sun, you need to look at either insulating it, painting it, covering it. What can you do to protect it? UV rays, look, we love them on our bodies. We love to absorb that vitamin D, but we need to keep a very close eye on our plumbing pipes. Anytime you have pipes that can be seen by the sun, whether it's a water line, drain line, anything like that, you wanna find a way to protect it. So first of all, we know what problems we can have in the winter. We know the issues now that we can have in the summer, but what can we do about it? Well, for your condensate drain, make sure you check your drains. Listen to the tub, listen to the shower, listen to the lavatory that those drain in. Does it sound like everything's running fine? If not, you may need to check it out. Expanding pipes. Now, the expanding pipes in the wall, thermal expansion, there's not a lot you can do. And it's funny because I have people message me all the time. I hear a clicking noise in my wall every time I turn on hot water. What can I do? Well, unfortunately, there's not a lot. But the foundation, what are you doing to water your foundation? What are you doing to make sure your foundation does not shift and does not move? Do you have soaker hoses down? Are you doing anything like that? Or are you watering on a regular basis and near enough your foundation to make sure that your foundation is not pulling away from your house? If it is, it's something you need to look at and something that could help protect your plumbing system and your foundation system. And the sun damaged pipes, just make sure if you've got water lines, sewer lines, any plumbing line at all that is exposed that you need to, make sure that you protect it and cover it. We've mounted thermometers on the earth like this. See? And the ones in between are somewhere in between. That's because the heat is hitting the one at the equator almost straight on. And then somewhere in between, well, it's somewhere in between. Now, if you're a plumber, is there anything in here that you think we have problems with in the summertime that I didn't mention? And if you're a homeowner and you've had other problems, summertime or winter, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Anyway, I hope you got some good information out of this. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you make more money in the trades.